100 years ago, Aloha Wanderwell was the first woman to circumnavigate the globe. I'm Lexi Alford, traveler and adventurer. Inspired by Aloha, I'm attempting a new epic journey to be the first person to circumnavigate the world in an electric vehicle. The Ford Explorer. In this record-setting attempt, I'll need to drive on at least five continents, clocking up a minimum of 28,900 kilometers. charge around the globe. Well, hello and welcome to the thrilling climax of Ford's Charge Around the Globe. We are live from sunny Nice. I'm Vicky Butler-Henderson, and a century after Aloha's pioneering feat, Lexi Alford, better known to her legions of online followers as Lexi Limitless, is about half an hour away from officially becoming the first person ever to travel around the world in an electric car, the new all-electric Ford Explorer. She will be helped by some very special guests and we will see Lexi cross the finishing line. Also coming up, we have an astonishing collection of iconic vehicles over a century of machines from Ford. We will also chat with celebrity drivers. We will see highlights from Lexi's epic road trip and witness a stunning new world record, which also marks a new era for Ford. So please stay tuned. Now then, just like Aloha, Lexi started off in Nice. She set out on September the 8th last year from Hotel La Hoyle. She has been pushing her limits and the car's limits, taking on every challenge of driving around the world. And here with me is Martin Sander, and he leads the electric vehicle operations of Ford in Europe. Martin, welcome to Nice, and how are you feeling about today? Hi, Vicky. Yeah, nice uh, to be here. A great place, and uh, yeah, this is truly a historic moment because Explorer, our new Explorer, is a step change not only for Ford, but I think for electric vehicles in uh, general. Um, the Explorer has got the range, the capability, and resilience to take um, on this supreme global challenge, and Lexi is proving it to the world now. Indeed, and here she is now, just coming live under the tunnel. So she has got now just 12 kilometers to go. And uh, shall, we, shall we check in with the Explorer, Martin? Yeah, why not? Indeed. Lexi, how are you doing? Hello, Martin and Vicky. It is so exciting to be here. I cannot even begin to believe how long of a journey it's been over the past 200 days, and I cannot wait to cross this finish line. Yeah, so I think it was September last year when I uh, saw you last in person, right? So a lot, a lot has happened in your life since then, right? Oh yes, I've been very, very busy. <laughs> Do you have any particular highlights, Lexi? Uh, there has been so many incredible moments along this journey. I have traveled on six continents and through 27 countries along the way. Everywhere from places like the beautiful plains of Zimbabwe all the way to the Himalayas in Bhutan. And I've met some really incredible people along the way that we're actually going to be sharing in our upcoming documentary about this journey called Charge Around the Globe. Wonderful stuff. And I know that uh, this isn't quite the usual way you go testing, but Lexi did start uh, her journey just before she came to Nice at Ford's Le Mole Proving Ground, and that is in Belgium. And let's take a look at what you got up to. I'm here in Lomel, Belgium at Ford's Proving Ground, and today we're going to be doing some advanced driver training to get me ready for my trip around the world. So let me say that we start now at 60 kph. Okay. Come on, come on, come on, keep going. Don't release, don't release. That's it. This it's thing good. goes fast. Yeah, absolutely. Your car position is perfect, so don't change it. Way Whoa, to go. that was 80 at the end. At the end. I'm here at the Environmental Test Center to learn about how this vehicle is going to be able to handle some of the different terrains we're going to be putting it through throughout this journey. <laughs> I think it's working. 
The expert training has given me the confidence to take on just about anything. It certainly taught me a lot. That looked like a lot of fun. Lexi is now in Beaulieu sur Mer, but up on the stage, Martin, if you could kindly tell us about the Explorer's technology that has made all of this possible. Yeah, of course, happy to do that because I think our engineers really put uh, a fantastic package together for our customers. The Explorer's got 602 kilometers of range that really sets it apart from its competition. Our customers can recharge the battery from 10% to 80% in just about 26 minutes, so um, just enough to have a coffee. Performance is fantastic, just 5.3 seconds from zero to 100, just a couple of years ago, this was serious sports car territory. And of course, it's packed with the latest technology, state-of-the-art connectivity, the perfect car for this type of uh, adventure, clearly built with real-world capabilities in mind. And Lexi's adventure demonstrates its quality, durability, and reliability. Yeah, it definitely does that. Now, we are very lucky right now to be joined by the president and CEO of Ford Motor Company. A warm welcome, please, to Jim Farley. Hello. Hi, Jim. What are your thoughts on this momentous occasion? For me personally and for the team, it's so exciting to see this new Explorer. I remember when we just started this project just a few years ago and I see some of the designers, some of our engineers, Martin, they put their heart and soul into this vehicle and to have it demonstrated this way around the globe um, and for it to be here launching just a month away from we turn on the lights in Cologne and start to produce this, it's a really special day for all of the four team. How's everybody sort of back in their various headquarters around the globe feeling about this? Well, I think it's, it's our first smaller EV globally. Uh, and also, we've, we've had the Explorer name in Europe, but never like a ground up vehicle like this. Um, so this is a really challenger project in the company. Um, and I think we're all excited to get going. This is what we do at <laughs> Ford. We, we launch great vehicles. Uh, we, we've been doing it for 120 years. Look at Aloha and, and Alexi. That, that's what we do at Ford. Uh, so we're really excited. This is, this is what gets us up in the morning at Ford. The GT40 right there. Well, exactly. You gotta love the GT40. Exactly, and right behind you, we have got the GT40 has absolutely joined the... What a beautiful car. Yep, yeah, so they've just joined the convoy now, and we have got Roman Dumas, the Le Mans winner. He is the driver in the car. And hopefully we can talk to Roman now. Uh, Roman, hi there. How are you getting on in the slippery conditions with your V8 GT40? Well, very nice. You know, I'm just following now the the Explorer. It is now GT40. For me, a ca you know, a legend car like that. A car who won Le Mans back in 1965. This is a road car, but I can tell you it's feeling like a race car. Jim, briefly tell us what... Uh, you know about the GT40 as we see this wonderful old footage. Yeah, well, this is in 66 when we won. One, two, three, Roman is uh, driving the road car and um, uh, that, that number one car is in the Henry Ford. We actually flew it from Le Mans directly to uh, Dearborn and it's never left. Uh, and um, that year in 67, it was uh, Dan Gurney and AJ Foyt won, all American lineup uh, with uh, the first American uh, OEM to win it outright, but I, I'm so happy to see Roman in the GT40. He's a friend and having him in that car makes me so happy. It feels like it's a good Ford day here. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think we can actually put Roman in touch with Lexi. Hello. Well, hello Lexi and congratulations. Amazing. Such a terrific job you done, you know, driving this Explorer all around the world as you've done. It's amazing. You can be Soon you are ready to do a race <laughs> with me. <laughs> yes, thank you so much. You know, I can barely even see you. <laughs> You're so low to the ground down there. We've got seven and a half kilometers left and we have got a Ford Capri. Martin, tell us more about that. Yeah, another amazing uh, icon from our history. This is a 1972 Capri RS 2600. In the early 70s, the car um, you always promised yourself, 2.6 liter engine, over 200 kilometers per hour. This was magic. We are back in the early 70s, <laughs> yeah. Referred to as the European Mustang. And also, um, 
very successful on the racetrack. It won, for instance, uh, 24 hours of Spa. Yes. yes. Also joining the convoy now. Yes, exactly. And have you had much experience with this particular car? Not with the Capri. I raced the GT40, but um, I do the Le Mans, uh, the Spa six hours, and we have a couple of the Capris, the Cologne Capris. Uh, there and they're such terrific vehicles. Yeah. I mean, I, I look at that. That is a cool car. And we have got a cool person behind the wheel of that. That is uh, Jody Kidd, TV right, celebrity, Jody. racing driver, entrepreneur, and pub landlady. <laughs> Jody, how are you doing? I am so good, guys. This is just amazing. I've got Lexi up front. I've got the GT40. I've. So I think the thrills and spills there are a bit of live communication, but I think we all got the message that Jody is having a very <laughs> lovely time back there. Oh, yeah. wonderful stuff. So what other treat have we got to in store, I wonder? Yeah, there's one more vehicle to join us, uh, Ford Escort, uh, Mark yes. 1. Yeah, a very special vehicle in uh, our history. For, first produced in 1968. It was actually Ford of Europe's first uh, passenger car. 1970 in the 1850 GT, Hanno Mikola and uh, Gunnar Palm won the London to Mexico rally. And uh, to celebrate this uh, victory, we created the 1.6 liter Escort Mexico edition, which was um, reportedly, I wasn't there, <laughs> a very popular among boy racers. And it sold exceptionally well. And girl racers, may I say. <laughs> <laughs> Great stuff. Well, we have got something super special we've got just ahead oh, of yeah. the green car we've got a ford transit which uh, is the first generation transit isn't it yeah and first yep. first generation transit 1965 the foundation of our uh, tremendous success in the light commercial vehicle um, sector this vehicle was built for more than uh, 20 years uh, before it was replaced and uh, even today, Transit is one of our most successful products in Europe I mean, and also available as an electric vehicle now. Which, uh, which rock band didn't start with a Transit, right? Exactly. <laughs> and of course, the, the magic Mustang at the back, we can't forget that. Oh yeah. I will tell you that's Highland Green in 1967. It's the same GT that uh, Frank a Bullet, uh, Steve McQueen drove in a Bullet. Uh, they're great cars. It's our first big block in a in a, in a Mustang, so they're great at burnouts. Uh, it's, <laughs> it is a fantastic car, and I think it captures the change in Mustang from an affordable, stylish car to a pony car. That was, that was the car when it really changed. Yeah, it absolutely was. Okay, we are now going to look at uh, Lexi's highlights as she makes her way ever closer to us. Throughout the journey, the Ford Explorer has been my rock. I'm currently on the coast of Greece, Serbia, Melbourne, India, Cape Town. Through every high, these mountains are so beautiful. A little spontaneous dance party here at the charging station rest stop. Meeting the locals. These women are so badass, it's crazy. Exploring their countries. Every direction I see the Himalayas, it feels really surreal to be here. Wow. The sounds, the colors, these streets are something else. It's moments like these that are my absolute favorite. Well, what an utterly incredible six months Lexi has had. The sights, the people, 30,000 plus kilometers. Lexi, it must have been tough sometimes. Did you ever wonder if you would make it on occasions? Oh, well, nothing in life that's easy is ever worth doing, right? So there were, there were many, many challenges along the way, especially when we started to become uh, stuck in places that don't have an existing charging network, places like, you know, <laughs> the, the middle of the desert in, in Chile. But that wasn't going to stop us. We experimented with a lot of different types of alter alternative charging. And I have to ask you, uh, what will you be doing tomorrow morning? I honestly think I might sleep for an entire week straight after, after all of this, Vicky. So, Lexi, I've got another question. Yeah, you said the Explorer is, uh, is your rock. It clearly was your companion for several months now. Can you imagine a life without the Explorer in the future? 
I honestly feel like I would have some separation anxiety at this point. <laughs> I've basically been living inside of this car day in and day out for so long now. It's been my companion through it all and we've come a long way. <laughs> You just created a new marketing line for us, yeah? It's not longer uh, ra uh, range anxiety, it's separation anxiety for everyone who was uh, in, an in an Explorer once. <laughs> exactly. And uh, Jody, how are things with you in the middle of the pack there? It's such, I really hope you can hear me, but it's so exciting seeing Lexi being with her right at the end of this incredible journey. And I'm also looking at the most beautiful bottom of the GT40, not romance, <laughs> the GT40. <laughs> I totally agree with everything you have said there. Now then, Martin, is not long to go now, is it? No, not long to go. We see uh, Lexi approaching, that's over there. Yeah, And we have a very special surprise for Lexi because down at the port here where we are, we've got 20 more exciting Ford vehicles from our Hall um, of uh, Fame. So let's have, let's have a closer look. Yeah. The Focus RS Mark I from 1998. This is um, the uh, Dark Horse, Mustang uh, Dark Horse, available now also in, uh, in uh, Europe for sale. The Transit Custom MSRT, this is what you get when you marry our racing credentials with all the practicality of, uh, of transit. Yeah, we call it ultimate van or uh, super van. The Lotus Cortina Mark I, distinctive paint work for a distinctive road and track icon, highly successful throughout the 1960s and still winning historic races today. And of course now the Ranger Raptor, the most Badass off-road pickup truck uh, on the market. Four-wheel drive, of course, 210 horsepower, six-speed auto uh, transmission, and uh, incredible off-road capability. Yeah, the Ranger Raptor is one of my favorite vehicles. Oh my gosh, I, I drove it recently and managed to get it jumping, which is fantastic. Now then, Lexi, we have got some wonderful uh, machines to give you a big, warm, Welcome home, and uh, if you could very kindly look out for a replica of the car that took Aloha around the world, and there is perhaps a very special person standing by it. Oh, wow, this lineup is incredible. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, would you look who it is? <laughs> All right. 30,000 kilometers. Yes, sir. Nice and warm in here. <laughs> Holy I smoke. know, it's a little warm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. Buckled in. I'm good. Ready to cross the finish line? So I that's think? your seating position. Yes, wow. yes, oh, yes. Oh, I've been here for quite some time. <laughs> So, Jim, I'd just hop in there and just to say that it was lovely to see that the Ford Model T and the Explorer together, two record-breaking vehicles that have shaped Ford's past and future, and it looks like Ford's Hall of Fame has just got bigger. Wow. What a moment. <laughs> so that's just 120 years of um, automotive history. Yeah, automotive history and, of course, Ford history, a fantastic guard of honor you don't see every day, just amazing. It is, you don't see that every day at all. It is wonderful for us to, to see the pictures here, but it would be even oh. more amazing to, to lead the pack, which is what uh, Lexi and Jim are doing right now. And uh, Lexi, just would like to ask you, if possible, what you're thinking about right now as you enter not only the record books, but also Ford's history books. I mean, it is such a fantastic achievement. Uh, well, there's really no words for how exciting this moment is for me personally. It's been such a privilege and an honor to represent Ford on this world record-breaking tour around the world. And there's been so many highs and so many lows that have it's taken to, to get to this moment. I still can't believe that 
<laughs> this car has been with me on, on six continents and it feels like we've really been through a lot together and I couldn't think of a more epic way to be crossing this finish line. And who else has been with you? Because it's very much a team effort, hasn't it, that, uh, that's taken you around the world? It definitely takes a team to make the dream work. I've had my documentary film crew with me capturing every step of the journey. And also I've had my, my photographer, Lionel, and my, the rest of my team, Steven, Romina, Anita. Everyone has been supportive from day one. And I just can't believe that after how many hours, countless, countless hours we've put in behind this wheel that we're here. We're finally on the Promenade du Anglais as we speak, right where we started almost exactly 200 days ago. And Jim, I have to ask you, has Lexi been looking after the interior of the car in the... <laughs> uh, it's perfect. I can't believe I, when I sat down, I asked her. <laughs> Thirty thousand kilometers. Everything looks brand new. She, I, she's very, she's very neat. <laughs> I may or may not have cleaned it a little bit in anticipation oh, okay, of it. your arrival. Um, well, well, if you would have seen it a couple well days ago. <laughs> Vicky, everything looks really good in here. Love it. Well, you've just got a couple of kilometers left to go. So you are super close. But how is the convoy looking from uh, your mirrors, Jim? Uh, well, I see the Ford GT behind us and all these iconic Fords. You know, to be honest, I have to pinch myself. You know, this is always what I hoped Ford could be. You know, a brand with passionate people and passionate cars. We're all here together celebrating Ford with all these iconic vehicles. And nothing's more iconic than Alexi and her, her Explorer. Here we are. Yeah, it is wonderful stuff. And you will be leading the motorcade to the final stretch, the final section. We can see some fantastic aerial pictures of you all, which is lovely. And amazing to think, Martin, that Aloha Wonderwell, it took her five years to do what Lexi has done in, in 200 uh, days. Yeah, it's really amazing to see how things have changed. Yeah. Yeah, how much have, uh, has changed uh, in the world, but also how far electric vehicles uh, have come. Of course, I mean, we and the team in, uh, in Europe We've, of course, followed each and every kilometer. It was also very exciting for us, maybe not exciting as for Lexi, but for the whole team it was uh, exciting. It was uh, amazing in hindsight, yeah, how easy things were and uh, that it actually, actually worked. You can take an EV and travel around the world. Yeah, Fantastic. absolutely, quite. Um, so the motorcade now is making its final way. Lexi, a few thoughts from you at this momentous place. Oh, it just is such an exciting moment. Honestly, it's like, <laughs> it's very overwhelming. I'm so happy to be here. <laughs> um, thank you to everyone who came and supported this mission. It's really meant the absolute world to me and I'm just about to cross this finish line. <laughs> so Jim, can you talk us through the final few moments? What can you see? Clapping. <laughs> it's pretty epic. Pretty epic. Oh, I can see. I can see the finish line now. There it is. What a moment. All right. Everyone is waving right. their flags. We got the <laughs> checker flag ready for you. We're almost there. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I can see my mom and dad too. All right. Woo! <laughs> We did it! <laughs> what a moment! We're we here! Go. Oh, thank you! Congratulations. <laughs> what an achievement. Oh, wow. I should have brought some tissues. I know, I know. <laughs> you wow. deserve it. You deserve it. And your parents are here. That's awesome. This is so sweet. That's awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, let's do it, yeah, shall right. we? Okay. Woo! <laughs>
That is wonderful stuff. What total emotions there. Joy, relief, achievement. It's just terrific to see. Really, really wonderful. So congratulations to Lexi. She did it. Over 30,000 kilometers, six continents, 27 countries. Lexi enters the record books with the Ford Explorer. Great stuff. So as everyone soaks up the emotion that Lexi is clearly, clearly going through, Martin, um, this is an EV's most ambitious test drive ever, surely. But what's next? Yeah, of course. Lexi's uh, record starts a new era um, in Ford's history. Um, there are many more electric icons uh, to come. And when you look at all these vehicles in the lineup, you understand why we are talking about uh, the future being about iconic electric vehicles from uh, Ford. So thank you so much, Lexi, for traveling around the world uh, with all of us and making this possible. And of course, also um, a big thank you to everyone at uh, Ford of Europe and Ford globally who um, supported Lexi and the Explorer um, on their way from, from the start. The, the, the development team, the charging team, the charge around uh, the globe uh, team. Some are actually passengers in our Hall of Fame vehicles and I hope guys you enjoyed today and uh, the celebration here together with us. So now, um, yeah, back to business because now everyone can order their own Explorer, the EV that went around the world. Yeah, visit the Ford uh, website and start your own adventure if you like around the globe. It's possible in a Ford Explorer. Wonderful stuff. Great. Thank you so much, Martin. And thank you for joining us to watch the amazing and heartwarming new world record. Congratulations to Lexi. Congratulations to the Explorer. And it is goodbye from Nice. <laughs>